Hey everyone, my name is Jack, and in this video I have some fairly scary news for the economy. A recent story by Bloomberg has documented a landlord's worst nightmare, and that's that many retailers are planning to withhold rent due to virus-related closures. This could spell disaster for the economy at large. But who can blame the business tenants? In many cases, they've been ordered by the government to close their stores indefinitely, with very few alternative ways to drive revenue, and even so, this decision by many retailers to withhold rent could trigger a chain reaction towards a recession. With government orders effectively pausing most business activity, the flow of commerce has been drastically reduced. Everyone knows that. But consumer fear has slowed it even more. And joblessness is beginning to increase as businesses lay their workers off. But the bizarre part about this looming downturn is that it's manufactured in a way. The economy was plugging along before the health crisis, debt was fairly cheap, unemployment was quite low, and continued to decrease steadily, actually. Uh, and the stock market was continuing a record bull run, and all seemed fine. But then, concerns over the coronavirus quickly saw governments around the world take drastic measures to quarantine their citizens to slow the spread of the virus, understandably. And this stunted business everywhere. Now in the United States, stagnant business is starting to cause severe problems. Businesses like Mattress Firm, Subway, and other AAA tenants have expressly stated that they are planning to not pay rent to their landlords. A chain reaction towards a foreclosure crisis will be next. If retailers withhold rents, landlords will have little way to pay for mortgages and other major expenses. Some landlords have agreed to waive or defer rent for their business tenants, at least for a couple of months. However, not every landlord is in the same position to buy time for their tenants. Unless a landlord has substantial reserves to weather a storm for quite some time, there are very few alternatives. Landlords could try evicting tenants, but that's extremely expensive, and it's also highly impractical if there's no other viable business tenants. So why would landlords want to evict someone to then have no one to fill the space with? So landlords appear to be stuck too. And given the previous decade of relatively cheap debt, many landlords are sitting on fairly large mortgages to make matters worse. Many may be ill-equipped to handle even a slight decrease in rent, and they may be forced to stop paying their mortgages in turn. Perhaps some might be in a position to take out new debt, to then have a cash pile to make mortgage payments on other debt, but many already have near-maximum debt loads and low cash balances, and they'll be unable to make payments very soon if rent is withheld for much longer. And when landlords can't pay mortgages, mortgage holders will be in trouble too. Pension funds, investment firms, and banks that hold mortgages will suddenly bring in much less revenue. They'll be less able to fund those pensions, or relend money out to other borrowers and keeping it circulating. When credit starts drying up due to increasing defaults, we need to look no further than the 2008 crash for how that's a problem. In addition to credit drying up, there will be an increase in the number of foreclosures. Lenders and mortgage holders don't want to hang on to, to properties, especially if the tenants in them aren't paying rent as it is. They will instead try to sell the property, even at a significant loss, to get it off their books. And as foreclosures increase, more properties will start to flood the market, triggering a crash in real estate values. Now I have to give a brief disclaimer, I am making a lot of economic predictions here, and I'm going to be making some more in the rest of this video. I just want to make this disclaimer from a very wise man who once performed very well on Wall Street, has a lot of wisdom that I think he could offer to you. Number one rule of Wall Street. Nobody, I don't care if you're Warren Buffett or if you're Jimmy Buffett, nobody knows if the stock is going to go up, down, sideways, or in circles, least of all stockbrokers. Now, unfortunately, the economy is very delicate. One break in the chain can cause the whole thing to fall apart. Thankfully, the government is trying to do something to combat the problem, but it probably will not be enough. That is, the proposed stimulus will not be enough if quarantines continue around the nation. Congress is close to passing a $2 trillion stimulus, and most Americans would get a direct payment of something like $1,200, assuming the bill passes as drafted, of course. Many small businesses and larger companies would get substantial loans as well. However, this will only buy a little bit of time, a couple of months at most. Quarantines will still remain as devastating for businesses as ever, whether or not the virus recedes. 
And in all likelihood, the virus will likely still be a significant problem a couple of months from now, barring a major change of events like a vaccine being developed all of a sudden. Battling the virus will probably be a long, drawn-out process, unfortunately. The more time is spent, the more money both landlords and tenants will need to remain operational. And every day of frozen commerce is millions of dollars lost. And on top of this, in the meantime, the courts may become overwhelmed with disputes between landlords and tenants, and maybe landlords and lenders as well. Tenants will argue that they should not have to pay rent during this crisis. And they may have standing, as I'll, I'll actually get to that shortly. But the number of cases will skyrocket. Legal costs will drain already cash poor businesses and individuals. And then the problem will only be, be worse than it was before. And how the courts end up deciding will probably be mostly irrelevant. These sorts of disputes can take many months to sort out. But then the problem will have already grown significantly since mortgage payments don't wait for a borrower's lawsuit against its tenant to end. They keep coming every month. Now, residential properties might be next in this chain. As I mentioned already, companies have already been laying off a record number of workers in a very short amount of time. Jobless claims have skyrocketed. And those now jobless workers will struggle to pay rent. The same problem for retail landlords will soon plague residential landlords if it has not started affecting them already. And tenants who were in a decent economic position just a month ago may be out of work indefinitely, and others may have had hours drastically reduced and their income slashed. They may suddenly be unable to afford rental payments now, which can trigger the same chain reaction as I mentioned earlier towards a foreclosure crisis if the economy does not get up and running again soon. Now, some residential landlords are thankfully offering temporary rent cuts to buy time. But this will not be sustainable for much longer for the same reasons as retail landlords, especially those cash poor landlords. Now I want to revisit the question, can a tenant legally withhold rent? And before answering this question, I have to emphasize that this video is not legal advice and you should consult with a licensed attorney in answering any legal questions that you might have. Everyone's problem is different and your situation may be extremely different than someone else who may seem like they have a similar situation but they actually don't. The advice you receive may be very different as well. I'm just a guy on YouTube. While I can't give advice, I do take likes. Okay. But in general, tenants do not have to pay rent to their landlords if they can prove a valid claim under the force majeure clause of their lease. Force majeure is a fancy legal term that's French for superior force. It refers to an unforeseeable circumstance making performance of a contractual obligation, like paying rent, impossible. The event has to be out of the control of the party to that contract. Many leases, especially in the commercial realm, have different force majeure clauses that list different events that would be eligible for a valid claim should it arise. Generally, if a contract does not list government orders or pandemics as a force majeure event, then the clause will not be enforceable in this case. That is, unless the court is more forgiving to tenants. Every court is different, but courts typically defer to the language in the contract in deciding whether something falls under the force majeure clause. Many contracts do include an act of God catch-all as a force majeure event, but it's unclear whether a pandemic would automatically fall under that language. Now, the many coming legal disputes will probably clarify this issue soon, but even if a tenant can legally withhold rent, this unfortunately does not mean that there will not be an economic chain reaction. The unfortunate reality is that someone is going to have to bear the loss, whether that's the tenant, the landlord, the lender, or everyone, is the undetermined question. In short, the fact that retailers will withhold rent is incredibly dangerous and could help to trigger a much larger downturn. The fact that they are candidly declaring that they will do it shows how bad the situation is becoming. Unless the health crisis and the quarantines end soon, a recession appears to be well within reach. Well, that's all I got today. I hate to give such negative news, but it's very important that we are all aware of what's going on around the country and around the rest of the world. Information is the only thing that can help us make better decisions for our future. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like as it helps the channel out a lot. If you want more content on real estate, investing, and personal finance, be sure to subscribe so you never miss any updates. I post new videos on those topics every single week. And what do you think about this whole situation? What do you think should be done to help solve some of these problems that I've mentioned? Is there anything that we can really do? I'd love to get your thoughts in the comments below. But until next time, take care.